YouTube, please note this is my first video that I'm including audio in, so please bear with me if there's any glitches, it's just one of those days. Today I will show you how to prepare a USB device so that you can boot Windows Server 2008 from it. So first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to open your command prompt with admin rights, basically right clicking on the link, run as administrator, and then we can start. Now we will use disk part within command prompt to prepare the disk. To start disk part, simply type in disk part, one word, and hit the return or enter key. Now next we'll need to list all the disks that's on your machine, so type in list disk. Identify your USB dr drive or device, um, in my case it's disk 2, and then you'll need to select the disk. You select the disk by simply typing in select disk and then disk number. Now next we're going to have to clean this disk. Cleaning the disk is basically deleting the partition which means it'll erase everything that's on the disk. So type in clean, hit the return or enter key. Now we'll basically have to create a new partition since we just deleted it with the clean command. To do this we type in create partition and we want it to be a primary. Hit the return or enter key and now we'll need to select the partition. After selecting the partition we'll activate it by writing the active par active command. So activate it and now we'll need to format it using the FAT32 file system. To do this simply type in format space fs for file system equals the FAT32. This will format the disk using the FAT32 file system. Now this will take a while. Um, I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay YouTube soon be back. The USB drive has been formatted using FAT32 file system. Now what we'll need to do is basically copy the OS files from the DVD to your USB drive. In my case, um, my DVD drive is E drive and my USB drive is G. So we'll use X, X copy to copy all the files. We'll start off by typing in X copy E drive. We'll leave everything on the E drive. everything to be transferred to the oh my what is the G drive here This will also take a while. I'll be back as soon as it's done. As you can see, all the files have been copied, approximately 993 files. Now simply stick the USB drive into your machine and stop the boot from the USB drive. Let me know if this was helpful. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see any future videos from us. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.